Durbin Watson D statistic for a regression model is computed as 2.317. There are five regressors excluding the intercept. In this model estimated for 45 observations, test for presence of autocorrelation at 5% level. So this is the question that we have. We are already given the value of D statistic. It's given to us that D statistic is equal to 2.317. And we have to test for the presence of autocorrelation and the significance level that's given to us is 5%. So the null hypothesis that we are going to have in this case is no first order autocorrelation. So no first order autocorrelation. First order because the Durbin Watson D statistic can only be used to test for first order autocorrelation. Okay, so that's your null and your alternate would be that first order order autocorrelation exist. Okay, so first order autocorrelation exists. So this is your null hypothesis and this is your alternate hypothesis. So to decide whether to reject the null or not to reject the null, we have to take a look at the decision criteria that we have in this case. So the decision criteria that we have in this case is this. I've taken this image from chapter number 10 of your textbook. So over here, as you can see, we have DL, DU, 4 minus DU and 4 minus DL. This DL and DU that you see over here, these are the critical values of Durbin Watson D statistic. Okay. And in this case, we have two critical values. DL is the lower critical value and DU is the upper critical value. So let's take a look at the table to find these critical values first. So as you can see, this is the Durbin Watson D statistic table at 5% level of significance. We have N written over here and it's starting from 6 and going till 200. And we have K prime written over here. Now it's mentioned in the question that the sample size is 45. That means we have to take a look at this row over here, right? Now before you choose the column, you need to understand what is the meaning of K prime over here. So if I scroll over here, then you can see that N stands for the number of observations in this table and K prime is the number of independent variables excluding the constant term. This is an extremely important step because if you end up choosing the wrong column, then your entire answer can be wrong. Okay, so pay attention over here. It's written over here that K prime is the number of independent variables excluding the constant term. Now, what's the value of K prime in our question? In our question, we are given that we have five regressors excluding the intercept and regressors is nothing but a different name for independent variables only. So that means the model that we have over here in that model, there are five independent variables excluding the intercept term. One of the mistakes that many people do is that they think that K prime is equal to the total number of parameters. So that means if you have a model like this. beta 2 x 2 beta 3 x 3 plus beta 4 x 4 plus beta 5 x 5 plus error then many students think that because there are six parameters that means k prime is going to be six well that's wrong because k prime is your number of independent variables excluding the constant term that means you only have to count beta 1 beta 2 beta 3 beta 4, beta 5, you do not have to count beta 0. Or in other words, you only have to count the number of independent variables that you have. So over here, you have five independent variables. That means your K prime is going to be equal to five. Okay. So let's go back to the table and see what are the critical values that we are going to get. So in our case, K prime is equal to five and N is equal to 45. That means we have to take a look at this column. And that means the values that we are going to work with are 1.287. So 1.287 is your DL, that's your lower value. And 1.776 is your DU, that's your upper value. So from the table, we got that DL is equal to 1.287 and DU is equal to 1.776. Over here, you have 4 minus DU. 4 minus DU means 4 minus 1.776. So this is equal to 2.224 and 4 minus DL means 4 minus 1.287 and this is equal to 2.713.
Okay, so now we have all the values over here. We are given that D statistic is equal to 2.317 and 2.317 will lie somewhere over here in this zone because 4 minus DU is 2.224, 4 minus DL is 2.713. That means 2.317 will be somewhere between these two values. That means you're going to lie in this zone of indecision. Okay. This implies that we cannot conclude whether or not autocorrelation exists at the 5% significance level. Okay? And that's it for this question.